All right. So I have a confession to make. I recognize this next guest from a pretty brutal fight scene in The Sopranos, but you're going to recognize him as one of our new cast members in Pay the Writer. Please welcome Broadway TV and film actor Stephen Payne. Hi, Stephen. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, that, you know, you caught me flat footed with that Sopranos because that was so long ago. I completely I forgotten about it. That's where Michael Imperioli shoots me in the kneecap, that bastard. <laughs> um, so thank you for your time today. I'm super grateful. Tell me a little bit about your new role in Pay the Writer. Well, I love this part. I mean, it's a very, you know, they they usually say, they used to say, there are no small parts, only small actors. But that's not true. There are small parts, you know. <laughs> and I've had many of them. I, I actually bill myself as the king of one scene. I've been in, in every TV show, film, with one scene. It's always been pivotal. It's always been good. But I was drawn to this. I am a Vietnam veteran, and I also served two tours, much like the uh, the character in the in the play. And uh, so, in my heart of hearts, even though that's all ancient history for me, um, it gives me a little a little something in my heart that uh, I just would love to express even if it's just being there, you know, and standing up and saying, I'm still here after all these years, you know. I put it all behind me, but it's still a part of my life, you know, and it was like a year and a half of rough road there, you know, for uh, Vietnam and the aftermath, which is what this play really sort of addresses, what what this kind of an event can do to a person. Uh, the protagonist, well, he ended up writing a book about it, you know? And I wish I, in reality, in this world today, I wish that somebody, when I was, when I had gotten back home and I was like trying to get my mind recalibrated around the new reality, because things changed so much in two years. I hadn't been in the States for two years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> Uh, I wish someone had had that book there for me then when I was a young man that could have filled in the gap, the emptiness inside me or something or, or put me uh, uh, on that path. Wow. And I don't regret any of it, you know, nothing. But uh, that was a, a, a powerful, uh, formative thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Steven, I had no idea. Wow. Thank you yeah. for your service and woo. Wow. <laughs> uh, let me ask you kind of a perfect line question. Why this show? It's just a subject that um, any time I can get a chance to get this thing out of me, this experience out of me and maybe share it. That's not the main thing. The main thing for me is to, in any little way I can, just to get it out of me, you know, and uh, and move forward more freely. But I mean, I, and it's, I am not afflicted. I don't feel like I'm burdened by this at all. And I wouldn't have even thought of it. <clears throat> but here comes this script. And I play a, I hate that being a homeless man. I've seen that a hundred times and you know that my agent calls me got a nice little part for you on uh uh you know the uh what's the name of that show uh well whatever you name the show see uh, you know cf csi or blue bloods or, and when they i see the homeless thing in there it's like but it's not ho homeless homeless it's not background homeless it's actually a, a homeless guy and that's my challenge how do you state the homeless condition from the depth of your soul when you only have four lines you know <laughs> that's the challenge and and the real challenge is not to overdo it you know like you know just do what's there and hopefully 
And that's the way I feel about this. I just want to give what I have as far as this uh, character goes, and I'll let the I'll let everybody else do the calculations. Do you Thank hope you. audiences will take from Pay the Writer? My assignment for myself in recent years has to has been to discover humility. And so I'm going there to humbly offer what it is I have to offer. And I'm not blowing smoke. That's my that's my mission because uh, my whole life has been about me. I've been so wrapped up in me, me, and you know, you know, they'll never understand me. You know, no one understands me. And uh, you know, so this is I. I'm trying to blow that out before I die. I'd like to be clear of that, you know, and uh, do something, you know, as it is right there in front of me, and do it directly and just honestly as I can. All right, so we asked all the questions. Now it's time to relax and do something a little fun. Although I feel like you're kind of relaxed and you're very brutally honest, which I'm down for. I'm gonna hit you with a game. It's quick, it's easy. You know nothing about it. You're not prepared and it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna call it Beat the Clock. I'm gonna put a minute on the timer and I'm gonna give you a word and you're gonna tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I think you're gonna do great. I'm not laughing. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm going to put a minute on the clock. And away we go. Audition. I once thought it would be, I thought I had throat cancer. And the first thing that came to my mind was, good, I won't have to audition anymore. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep moving. Call back. A glimmer of hope. Contract. It's a done deal. Ooh, understudy. I've done it. <laughs> Story of life. Lines. Lines? Mm -hmm. uh, lines. They are something you have to get over. <laughs> Tech run. Boredom. <laughs> Uh, dress rehearsal. It means nothing to me. <laughs> Stage combat. Oh. I hate it. You hate it? I'm going to keep yeah. going because you're doing great. Hey, reviews. Um, I'm like everybody else. It's, you know, narcissism. Okay. Straight play. Straight what? Straight play. Straight play? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Musicals. I I wish I had learned to sing and dance because I have a great voice, but uh, I can't sing. I don't have an ear for music. That's my deepest regret. Sing and dance like Chris Walken. Just like Chris Walken. West End. West End Avenue. Mm -hmm. That's what comes to my mind. Okay. Broadway. I, my, my heart practically exploded in my chest when I, when I realized that I had gotten and owned a Broadway part. I broke down in the most unbecoming way and just wept and wept and wept. And I didn't realize, even, even now it's almost coming back to me a little bit, you know? That feeling of being an understudy for so long and being happy with the work I had done. And I started, to, can I just talk for a minute of or 30 course. seconds? Yes, that was I the last one. I remember when I was driving a delivery truck and we went by this theater, we went by the public. I hope I can play in there someday. You know, go by this theater. Oh man, I'd love to play in that one. You know, the Atlantic. Oh, someday maybe. And so all those maybes came true. And then the last one was if I, you know, I've been off, I've been off Broadway and great shows, you know, uh, you know, signature theater, as I said, the public uh, world premiere of a John Patrick Shanley play, blah, blah, blah. Edward Albee, I worked with him when he was still alive on Me, Myself and I down in Princeton. And all these things were great fulfillments, but, you know, Broadway is that thing you you arrive on broadway and so that is 
that fulfilled uh, uh, I didn't realize how much of a dream it was until I got it. And when I got it, I just couldn't bear the joy. Yeah. Well, I'm so, I'm so happy you made the time for me today. It was, wow. I'm, <laughs> I want to tell you, you're a delight. This is the oh, best. Oh, you're so nice. You're this so is the nice. Best. You're is, a delight. I really, oh en- I really enjoyed this. And then when you sit here and you get I got you right where you lived. I didn't mean to make you upset, but yeah. And then I I had no idea you were a veteran. That's incredible. And all that, all that for 15 lines or whatever (laughs) I've got in this play, you know, and, and I'm very happy to do it more than happy. I, I, I thank you for the opportunity and the whole team there. So. Well, I just love how you reacted to Broadway and I, and God, Steve, the goal is to get yeah. you right back there with this show. I'm sure, because, it did. Oh man, I yeah, love you. Yeah, yeah, gave me you gave me like the uh, you know fists of fury right into the, my gut right here oh, when you man. brought that up. Oh, <laughs> got you right where you live. I think you're a star, Steve. Yeah, thank and you. And if you want more of Steve, keep on this page. Follow us for more of Pay the Writer coverage on yeah. M Maxwell Media. How much do I owe you? (laughs) 